Welcome back to Infigyan, my dear friends. In today's video, we have one very interesting question from algebraic equations. We have to solve for all real and complex values x power 10 plus 1 over x power 10 equal to x square plus 1 over x square. So let's get started. By writing x cannot be 0 as it is in the denominator. Now I will multiply both sides by x power 10 x power 10. So we can write our LHS as x power 20 plus 1 equal to x power 12 plus x power 8. Now I will rearrange the terms. I can write x power 20 minus x power 12. This will be equal to x power 8 minus 1. Now I can take x power 12 common. So it will give us x power 8 minus 1 in the bracket. And if I will write our RHS in LHS, then it will be equal to 0 right hand side. See now x power 8 minus 1 is common. So in second bracket x power 12 minus 1 will be there, RHS 0. Conclusion from here is x power 8 minus 1 will be 0. Degree 8 equation and x power 12 minus 1 equal to 0, degree 12 equation. Let us solve one by one. So I will write x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0. So I can write x power 4 whole square minus 1 whole square equal to 0. Now difference of two squares formula, I can write x power 4 plus 1 a plus b times a minus b equal to 0. Again we can apply the difference of two squares here. So x square plus 1 times x square minus 1. Again we can apply difference of two squares here. So I can write x plus 1 times x minus 1. Now you can see these terms I have to write here x power 4 plus 1 times x square plus 1 times x plus 1 times x minus 1 equal to 0. So I can conclude x power 4 plus 1 will be 0 or x square plus 1 will be 0 or from last two brackets I can directly write x is equal to plus minus 1. So two real solutions are confirmed which is plus minus 1. Now we will consider first and second equation. So x power 4 plus 1 equal to 0 and second was x square plus 1 equal to 0. So now I can write here x square is equal to minus 1 and minus 1 we know it is i square. Now I will consider square root both sides. I can write x equal to plus minus i. So two complex solutions are confirmed. Now consider this quartic equation. I can write x power 4 as it is. Then I will write 2x square. Then our 1 and then minus 2x square equal to 0. From first three terms we can write x square plus 1 whole square. And here I will be writing root 2 times x whole square. Now we can apply difference of two squares formula. So x square plus root 2x plus 1 in one bracket. In second x square minus root 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now two quadratic equations will come out as square root 2x plus 1 equal to 0 and x square minus root 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Now I will apply quadratic formula for both the equations. So if I will consider minus b as per formula it is minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac over 2a. So minus b for first equation it would be minus root 2, for second equation minus b would be plus root 2. So I will write minus plus root 2. 
plus minus under the root b square for both the case 2 minus 4ac minus 4 over 2a so 2. So I can write minus plus root 2 and this will become plus minus i root 2 divided by 2 or we can write x equal to minus plus 1 plus minus i divided by root 2. This will be our quartic solution. So overall 8 solutions we have calculated out of 2 are real. So I will write here our solutions for x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0. So x is equal to plus minus 1 plus minus i plus minus I will write 1 plus minus i divided by root 2. You can see 8 solutions are here. 4, 2 and the remaining 2. Now let us consider our second equation x power 12 minus 1 equal to 0. So I can again factorize x power 6 plus 1 times x power 6 minus 1 equal to 0 by applying difference of 2 squares. Now conclusion is x power 6 plus 1 equal to 0, x power 6 minus 1 equal to 0. Let us solve one by one both the equations. So I will write here x power 6 plus 1 equal to 0. I can write here x square whole cube x power 6 and here I will be writing 1 cube equal to 0. Now a cube plus b cube formula a plus b a square plus b square minus ab. equal to 0. Conclusion from here x square plus 1 will be equal to 0. x power 4 minus x square plus 1 will be equal to 0. So from this equation which we have already solved we can write directly x is equal to plus minus i. Repetitive solution. Now this quartic equation I will use manipulation step. I will be writing x power 4 plus 2x square then plus 1. Now it should be minus x square. So I will write minus 3x square equal to 0. So from these three I can write it is x square plus 1 whole square and 3x square we can write root 3x whole square equal to 0. Now I will apply difference of two squares formula. So x square plus root 3x plus 1. In one bracket x square minus root 3x plus 1 equal to 0. Similar way we will apply quadratic formula we will get four solutions complex value. So I can write from here it would be equal to plus minus root 3 plus minus i divided by 2. All are complex values. Now I will consider our second equation x power 6 minus 1 equal to 0. Now I can write this as x cube whole square minus 1 whole square equal to 0. So x cube plus 1 times x cube minus 1 equal to 0. Now I will apply a cube plus b cube, a cube minus b cube identity. So x plus 1 and then I will write x minus 1 from second bracket also. Then our second bracket for both the formulas I will write x square plus x plus 1 and x square minus x plus 1. Now conclusion 
if this will be equal to 0 i will write x equal to negative 1 repetitive solution this bracket equal to 0 i will write x is equal to plus 1 now these two equations i will apply again the quadratic formula let us apply here i will write x square plus minus x minus 1 equal to 0 let's apply i will write minus b so minus plus 1 plus minus under the root b square will be plus 1 minus 4ac so i will write here it was plus 1 b square minus 4ac so it will be minus 4 divided by 2a now you can see it will come out minus plus 1 plus minus i square root 3 divided by 2 so overall we have calculated only two real solutions with multiplicity 2 it is x is equal to plus minus 1 and the remaining are complex valued means 16 are complex valued if i will write all the solutions then it would be let me write here so these are total number of solutions real and complex and this brings the end of the video do not forget to like share and subscribe friends bye bye till next video good luck take care of yourself goodbye